So Malia's here now. She's working on her visual tracking. So all these have been put into. Most of them they were laminated first, and then we put them in. Put them into the pouches. And so she has to count to make sure she just gets and circles the stars with the same number. Not five. There you go. Mari, how are you making out over there with your? I'm making out pretty good. Pretty good. Okay. And today's actually my special day. Oh, okay. Because I get to talk, like, actually talk. <laughs> She's talking about the camera. <laughs> and not just be seen. Can you believe this child? You know, she was irritated the other day because she was seen on one of my YouTube videos, but she was not able to have a speaking part, and she was mightily if offended. The nerve of these children, they just kill me. I'm just like, and this one, ah, she's, she's going to be my next YouTube star. She likes to run and hide from cameras. Look, look, look. <laughs> <laughs> but this one was made for Broadway. Oh my gosh, there you go. Let me get Philip. No, my camera dies. Philip, how, what are you doing for your visual perception? Ah. So he's looking for A, B, D sequences. Light's probably in the way you can't. I know, can I see? Hold it up to something like this. Like that. There you go. So he's looking for only A, B, D sequences as fast as he can. Visual perception is very important for re later reading. Hello, sir. And how art thou? How are you? Good. You're good? So we're, what are you starting with today? Oh, did you remember what I said to you yesterday? Tell me what I said to you. Start at the bottom. So we're so where's your list, Eli? So yesterday you got down to you started here, you got down to there, and it was time for us to pack up. So yesterday I told you that today you can start at the bottom of your list first and then move to the top. See he can understand all of that. So there you go. He's working on C V C word builders over here. Oh, no, not that, not this. You don't want to do that? Well, that's you got to do the wall. Do you see your name anywhere else up on the wall? Let me see. I see. I think that whose name is this? This that, that's you right there. So you have to do. She does not like doing these. That's why. <laughs> no, good good try. But guess what, Boo Boo? Your name is only right there. So you don't have a choice. At least if you can do one, two, three, four. If you can do four as fast as you can and they're all perfectly done and there's no hot mess with all of these pouches, you did a great job, then that's all you have to do. But if you make a hot mess all over the place, like that, look, like that, <laughs> then guess what? You're going to have to be six. Eli is four, and that's what four-year-olds do, and that's what four-year-olds should be doing, but Eli can read it. Three, but anyway. What is she doing? I don't know. <laughs> the camera. You asked. She is walking. I was walking. So he's doing actions. Yeah. Kayla is over she here. Is doing he envelopes. I, um, I hope you're keeping track of the time because you've got to finish that before 4 o'clock. So you've got like 10 minutes. You need to hurry. Kayla, do you hear me? Yep, yeah, oh, here's another one. Here's another one. He just They come flying through there like, I don't know what. Like birds. Okay, that's a good one. Like birds. Okay. Mackenzie's here. Mackenzie always means business. She doesn't play. She's doing super e words. That are gonna make. Ah, uh, what? No. Are you serious, Kayla? That must be the fact. I need to bring this camera out every day. So guess what? You're only complete if you can read those words that you just did. So let's try. What's the first word you or? So you have zero? Buy. Buy like she was standing by the door or I would like to buy something. Yeah, because here's the difference. B-Y, that's just standing by something. But B-U-Y, you need more letters to buy something. Get it? You need more money. So it's got three letters in buy. All right, next word. Yes. Can you find me one more brown? Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes. Yep. Mm-hmm. Say it again. Many. Many. Next one. Wait. Wait. We have a problem here. Remember, we have some silent letters in there that work to make your vowel long. That vowel is a long sound. No, go, these two, they say nothing. Go to the end sound. 
right? Yeah, you want the left or the right? Which one you want? The left or the right? <laughs> yes, right. The right hand side. Good girl. And the last one is work. Work. Well done. You're done. And you got them all. Congratulations. You can go and pack those away and move on. You have extra letters. It's better to have too many letters than not enough. Well done, guys. I started before Mackenzie. You also started before Mackenzie. How are my How is my Eli doing over there? Do you have you been looking to see which pouch you're looking in? These are beginning letter pouches. Why do you have Kim? So I can film naughty little people and send it to their parents so they can see what they've been doing. Or I can film awesome kids who are trying their very best and they are absolute stars and I can put it on my YouTube channel. Woohoo! Which one would you want? Awesome! You, yeah? Let's do this! Yeah, let's do this. So remember, Eli is four years old and he can read words that a lot of middle schoolers can't read but what we're doing now is taking him back so he can learn some of the spelling patterns so when it comes to spelling some of these words he's e easily able to do that there we go those are my brand new ultra fine markers do not mess them up because there's that's all I have those markers are very expensive and you know I get mad when you guys do not treat them correctly um, this is not an all day event either. You have 10 minutes to see how many multiplication things you can get correct. And that is doing his number line. So he's counting how many colors up here. And he's on green. How many green do you need, Ryder? What is how much? Is One, that? two, three, four. Great. Let's move some of these away. So that's why that green fell down because some of these are too close to the edge of the board. So all these are our bottle caps that we painted with fabric paint inside and put magnets on the outside. And this is magnetic contact paper. Awesome. Let's check in with Mari. Mari, what are you doing? She's working on visual perception. And so what do you actually do? What do you have to do? What was the direction? Um, copy the letters from the top grid into the bottom grid as fast as you can. All right. And still make sure that they're still legible, that I know what they are, right? Yes. Excellent. Don't erase them. Move over to the next page because we'll check it when you're done. So it's just do this next one where you have to find this pattern. You find EI pattern or IE I pattern. Every time you see there's one right there, you circle EI. As fast as you can, just those two patterns. So try to do it in order from left to right as fast as you can, Lori. Good girl. Let me come around this side. There she is. Good job. Now I'm going to move over to Jerry. Why are you erasing that? Tell me what the reason was. I did it. Explain. Yep. 25 minutes. 25 times. Time. So that's fine. So I just wanted to know why you were erasing it. And if you were erasing it because you were finished because you did it 25 times, correct? Well, that's all you have to say. So when somebody asks you a question why you did something, just tell them why or why you think you did it. Okay? Because I just wanted you to verbalize that. You can finish erasing that and then you can move over to your second task. What's the problem, my friend? I, I, I can move the only for this. Let me put this camera on. You need to do what? Can you help me move the O to the move side? Move these O to the side. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. You saw that green? <laughs> he flipped right over. <laughs> there we go. These should have been in another container. So that. But that. You know what we can do? I can put them in a different container on the floor, and then you can get them and then put them up here. The reason I didn't want them on the floor is so that other kids don't. So there's your three. Wait. Oh, how many green were you supposed to have? One, two, three, four. You have one, two, three. One of them is misty. Is that green? Don't drop them because those magnets come off, and I don't. I won't be happy. So put the green there for your number four. And your blue. How many of the blue do you need? 
How many blue? Tell me the tell me the number. How many blue do you need? Tell me what the number is. How many blue did you need? One, two, three, four, five. Well, that's how many you have. Is that what it says? That's is that the number five? Is that the number five? It is. Okay. So now you own purple. How many? Good. Good afternoon. Lord of mercy. Okay. I will hear my name called a thousand purple. more times. Purple. How many purple do you need? Make sure you check to see how many purple. Count them. One, One two, three, four, five, six. Six purple. So find your purple and start putting them up there. You're doing a great job. Jersey's moving on to her envelopes over there. She's in a different group, so she has words patterns. Oh, she's got sight words. So she's recreating and putting them there. And then Eli has spelling patterns and digraphs that he'll be working on. So they're starting to filter in. It's much more difficult for me to film and they all start coming in. So, it's, so I like it when I only have like maybe five. <sighs> then I can take my time. This one over here, these are boxes and words. The picture cards are here. So let's see, this one, what do little babies like to say, no, 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 no. So they have to look to see where that one is that's not got the picture on it, and put it in there. So that's what they do for all of these boxes. What does T-H-E spell? Duh. Good job. I want you to see, I want to see your tongue when you say that. Can you put your tongue between teeth, like this? And go, the. Duh. Yeah. Now that there's 10 kids on site, I'll stop filming there because it's going to require a lot more class management now that the majority of them are here. I think I'm missing four and they should be along shortly. And that's when we're going to start the more intensive therapeutic aspects of our programming. So see you next time. And don't forget to watch the video of our glow room, which is very exciting for the kids when they get to go in there.